What's going on everyone? Welcome to Meteorological Spring, which starts today. So uh the flowers are gonna start blooming soon, but uh no one really cares about flowers. Uh, they're not very good, so today we're gonna be looking at light bloom rather. Uh so in real life or with a camera, a uh, light bloom happens when you point the camera at a really bright light source and the light kind of diffuses out like that and in in the center of the light you see some like really bright white and uh, so in art it can be used to convey that the light source is very very bright and uh, you can also really use it just to add some uh, drama to end uh, make your image look cooler. Uh, so, to start out, uh, I have this image on a, a document, and the first thing I want to do is isolate the brightest areas and therefore the light source. So, I'm going to come over to the channels panel and then hit selection. Now back in the layers panel, I'll make a new white color fill layer. Now you might be asking why I'm making a white color fill layer if I want to make a colored bloom. And uh, what you could do, you could actually make this a colored layer and then set its blend mode to screen. But uh, I'm going to be showing you a much more natural looking method of colorization later where we will use white color fill layers and add the color another way. Alright, so uh, what I'm going to do is alt click the mask of this layer so you can view kind of an x-ray of what we're trying to isolate. Then I'll hit control L to open levels kind of choking the shadows but quite a bit so this way I can just isolate the brightest areas hit OK now there are still parts of the image that are showing up which I don't want because they're not like light sources they wouldn't diffuse light the same way uh, so I'll just take a black brush just paint away those areas some like that all right so to go back to the original image I'll just click on the layer now we can add, start adding some bloom so the strat is just to make a lot of duplicates of this color fill layer and then uh, soften the masks just to diffuse it. So I'll do the, just that. I'll make a duplicate of this layer. Then just feather it just a little bit. Alright, nice. Uh, I'll duplicate this layer and then feather it some more. Then again. until just mess around with it until we get a nice soft glow but still visible we don't want it to be uh, completely faded but we do want it to be diffused alright so we've made quite a bit of progress uh, it's looking it's already starting to look really good uh, to add some color, what I'll do is make a new black color fill layer below all of those white color fill layers. And, uh, there are a lot of ways to do this actually uh, with adjustment layers to add color. And my favorite method by far is using a gradient map and setting its blend mode to color. Now this way I can choose some kind of cyan color for the 
whites. And since the blend mode is color, it doesn't ruin the luminosities of the pixels, which is really nice. I can just focus on getting the colors right without having to uh, do any brightness stuff on this gradient. So I'll choose a more blue color for the blacks. Maybe mess with this a little bit. When the hues are farther apart like this, it adds what looks like more contrast to the colors, which makes it look really nice. All right, so we've added some really cool blue colorization. Now, of course, I don't want to just have these lights on a black background I want to put them back onto our original image so I'll hold shift and select all of the layers from the black color fill at the bottom to our colored gradient map then I'll just group them I'll set the blend mode of this group to screen And just like that, we've added a really cool bloom and uh, really quickly. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. I uh, hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time.